Good afternoon. Today we are. I am taking a different uh, approach because of health conditions and the way people are dealing with their health. And I think it's about time, children of God, we look into the way we treat our health, especially men and women of God we, who are in the forefront of fighting a lot of spiritual battles. Your physical health is so important, likewise your spiritual health. But what we intend to do is that we concentrate our energy on the spiritual aspect of the things we do on a daily basis and mostly we neglect taking care of our physical health. I know a lot of men of God who has died very young because they did not take care of their physical body. They are always on the go and um, ministering, uh, praying, going to prayer meetings and all that and never ever slow down to nourish the body and spiritually they are so slow are strong but the body when the body get weak and get has no strength to carry the anointing they drop dead and so today I am going to incorporate good health for us men and women of God who are in the forefront. So I'm going to bring videos and different food that I have been able to come across that are very healthy for us and to be able to put it or add it into our daily intake uh, to slow down those of us who have blood pressure issues and diabetes and sugar levels and all that uh, issues that battling our lives on a daily basis. Then some of you who don't even know what is going on. Uh, you are what you eat as always said. And in my uh, videos that I've already put in YouTube, I talk about food. The food you eat, the spiritual food you eat, which is the word of God, sustain your spiritual man. But I'm coming to add physical food to it because both work together. So I have a website that I'm going to be today. It's called Beatrice Kitchen. And uh, Big Chris Kitchen is going to teach a lot of us how we can reduce cholesterol level and eat a very powerful uh, food that can, we can consume it every day. It is not very hard to get by. It's a very, very, very common food. But we do not take it serious because we don't respect it as powerful as it could be to help our health. And uh, sometimes I ask myself, why did God create man and put him in the guide? Because that is where everything that can sustain, sustainable to him was. And he put us in the garden because our, sust I mean, our sustainable things were there, the food, the fruit, and everything. So I'm going to, today, I'm not going to let us go deep into uh, this 
teachings of how to change our diet and then to lose weight and then you can lose about 10 kilograms uh, in 20 days if you follow this simple uh, food and intake and you started doing it with a little exercise and meditation and prayers when you can wake up in the morning or pray anytime you want and then when you finish you do your little meditation and then you do your little exercise the third thing you have to do is your food intake so one of the things that i want us to uh, look at uh, i have a biblical support to this so i'm going to call different scriptures to support what i'm about to say uh, if you any one of you doubting what i'm about to teach but i'm going to give you precept upon precept that you can follow and these are very common food that everybody have uh, it is abundant in grocery stores wherever you shop from the first food that i'm going to talk about and even in first corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 to 17 god called our body as a temple god said our body is a temple a temple means a dwelling place so if God dwells in your temple and you are not taking maintaining the temple very well and all the materials and all the things get rusted and weak it will crumble and fall that is when death come into our life so let's take this thing very serious and begin to watch over our temple we've seen so many men of god falling apart dying a lot because a lot of them overworked their bodies and so we're going to look into these things it's very very important there is time to fast and pray and when you finish your fasting and praying make sure you eat well get enough rest eat the right food that will rejuvenate what you lost during the fasting we're coming up with fasting tomorrow four days fasting for those of us who pray along with our pastor our prayer leader and i pray that brothers and sisters who will join the fasting and fast after four days you will eat some of these things that I'm going to be teaching today is a simple thing to rejuvenate get yourself enough rest for the few days after the breaking of the four days fast so number one bread I'm not talking about the white bread I'm talking about wheat bread wheat bread and barley bread um, which is not the white refined one and you can see you can read about this in exodus 2 9 to 6 when um 9 to 16 when god ordered children of israel to do wheat bread without yeast just the wheat and the berry they baked it because there's so much uh, uh this thing in it that helps the is a fiber it, there, there's uh, so many ingredients that is in it that helps our our body to absorb uh, absorb itself quickly and you can uh, uh, use the bathroom toilet very well easily that you don't have constipation so it's the belly it has a fiber it has antioxidants in it and all those good ingredients the second thing that i want you to look at seriously is fish and i know a lot of you eat fish and you think uh, poor people eat fish no 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 rich people eat fish because in fish you have the omega-3 fatty acid of fat that you needed in your body uh, that we have omega-3 we have omega-6 and we have omega-9 uh, we have I have I take the three six and nine every day 
you need it and even taking the omega-3 6 and 9 as a supplement I eat a lot of fish like uh, herrings like uh, uh, um, uh, trout like uh, uh, fish like uh, um, uh, what do you call it or oh, tuna and all these things salmon salmon is very good for your consumption so fish is the second uh, thing and if you go to the Bible God said to man I give you power I mean power over the fish in the sea he gave power for man to eat fish and in the sea and then even the water fish trouts are more you find more of, of, of them in the lake and big rivers so fish is very very good for you um, eat more fish eat more fish than even eating meat if those of you who are eat meaters be careful because you can uh, hurt yourself it's good but eat more fish if you want to have a very healthy life fish is very very good for you the second one is fruit we have a lot of fruits that we we don't take much fruit we take more carbohydrate stuff and then we get sick develop an attitude of eating more fruit banana who has a potassium in pineapple uh, um, uh, what do you call it uh, 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 what do you call it uh, grapes apple coconut drink it coconut every day that's the one I was trying to remember to call the name coconut is very good for you the water in it and the food combined are very good eat all these things every day make sure you eat more fruit than carbohydrate food that we consume a lot so minimize your consumption of starchy food and take more fruit and veggie more fruit and veggies salads make your own find your own way you can grow all these things and eat it you know veg is very very good very very good for your health and the third one is raw honey I don't take sugar I stop taking sugar for many years now I don't take sugar at all I buy raw honey and I eat it every morning a teaspoonful of raw honey in your tea coffee or any beverages that you take in the morning will go a long way for you it is good for your brain it's good for so many things that you can uh, get out of raw honey and so these are the things every morning you can you know add it into of course every morning is breakfast so you got your bread you got your little fish and you got your little fruits side of it and you got your raw honey which is you put in your tea or coffee or whatever you drinking this uh and then guess what the last one is olive oil a, a teaspoonful of olive oil every morning will rejuvenate you so this is our first uh, lesson or first uh, teachings that I want to bring to you that we're going to start just five biblical food powerful five biblical food basic basic this is just basic that anybody can do it it doesn't cost more than $10 $20 to get this food prepared every morning and lunch both you can have these five powerful food either breakfast or lunch and then we go into our dinner or supper 
with the heavy stuff. But you can start your morning with this. Either fruity or just bread and a little fish or any of these things. You put it in it and beautifully. You, uh, you get uh, something like uh, baby uh, spinach. Get little baby spinach and you, you sparkle it with a little bit of uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, sesame seed and all those. A little bit with a little olive oil. You touch it. You make yourself a little salad in the morning. Oh man, yummy. And you take it, you drink your cup of tea or a cup of coffee. And that is your beginning. You have already started your day with a powerful fuel to take you through the day. You will control your cholesterol level. You will be able to control your blood pressure. Why? Because you take your banana, which is your fruit, which is potassium with uh, uh, avocado or, 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 or all those beautiful fruits, you know nuts and uh, during the day you can take your black eye peas with your little red plantain and all those little bitty food that we think it was a poor man food my goodness the nutritious things that is in this food is unbelievable the beans are good for you great powerful protein so i came to you this morning Join me at Beatrice Kitchen and I'm going to be bringing all this different type of food that we can eat and add more into my studies. Thank you for joining us. You can WhatsApp me on 306-491-2570. 306-491-2570. Join me. WhatsApp me on this number or 519, that is, that is just a phone line, 837-9365. You can contact me on the phone line or WhatsApp me on the 306-491-2570 or the line line which is 519-837-9365 and WhatsApp me. Join me on my next segment. Please subscribe, share, and comment. And tell me uh, what type of food you want to know and what more did you want to learn, how to prepare. We will start making a live video to prepare some of this food and we will go from there. Join us in this journey. Beatrice Kitchen, have a great day. God bless you. Keep eating the, the food that God has designed for us to eat. And we will grow stronger, stronger and stronger every day. And be a blessing to many people. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye-bye.